Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It's day four of Astro Season, and after yesterday's unfortunate mishap with the pots, I am determined to be a lot more careful today, so uh, I'm gonna preface the video with this. Um, we've got two defense replays to watch. Thankfully, both of them were wins, so those will be interesting to watch for sure. I've already seen this one from Remy, but I have not seen the one from Ice 5G. Um, I'm also going to a convention this weekend in my hometown. This is actually the first ever convention I'm ever going to, um, so I'm super excited for that. Uh, gonna look out to buy a bunch of anime merch, so I'm, like, just really, really excited for that. Um, so yeah, no Ether Raids videos this weekend, but I do have a video planned to go up on either Saturday or Sunday, not quite sure yet. Uh, but yeah, just wanted to quickly let you guys know. Um, so yeah, not much more to say, let's just play offense. Oh, so I actually, this team is a little weird. This team's got close counter Claude on it because I was realizing that he actually does pretty well against specific team comps, so that's why he's here. Uh, so maybe we'll leave this as one of the teams. With Lucina there, I don't know. It's a thought. But yeah, let's play offense. Catria Ball. Bar save Cecilia. Legendary Claude. Wait, is it just me or does this look a lot like my... My, uh, Catria Ball? Because there's Reinhardt. There's Claude. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> this looks really, really familiar. And the bad news is, I don't super know how to beat my own team either. Uh, but I will probably... Hmm, let's think about this. I can... So Claude is actually out of range of both saves. So he can be sniped by Regan. And then maybe we can use Le a Legendary Byleth to snipe the far save unit who is Cecilia. Because he does disable her damage reduction. So I think maybe let's try that. Final judgment. Um, yeah. Violet on this side. Uh, they also do not have the bonus structure, right? Hmm. Okay, well, better for me, I guess. Uh, so let's think about this. We want Asherah to break the Black Eagle flag. Um, and then we're gonna have to break this uh, crumbling block too. Well, this one too, obviously. And then the turn after that, Regan can be repoed up, go break the crumbling block, Canto out. Uh, and then next turn, she can also get Claude in the same way. The turn after that. It'll probably have to wait until turn three, but no big deal. Um, Leave it to me. We can break the Panic Manor. Um, it will be done. And then we're in tactics room range. I don't know if I want to do that just yet. Uh, this. Truly, I see music. Just want to make sure the positioning is right. Eld against the seventh unit, really. So yeah, we can take out Cecilia, no problem. Uh, in fact, we should probably test out the trap. Um, hmm. Let's think. How do we want to get Regan up there? We can repo up with Asherah. And Regan's here. She can hit the block. Uh, then she, she'll be here when she hits the block. Then she can canto out one, two, three. And needs to get repoed out. By Byleth, maybe? Um, Close your eyes. I don't know, but I think There's this is okay. We can dance Asherah, get her out of the way. She can go here. Uh, actually, no, she can't go there because then Claude can reach all the way, so she can go, like, down here, for example. Um... Do me the honor. Let's do this. Let's get her yes. down here. Yeah. We can break this. Get her out. Um, hmm. 
Maybe we don't want to snipe Claude the way we were intending for it. On the right foot. Maybe we will just snipe. Actually, I don't really know. We definitely have to test this trap. It will be done. An option would be to repo her and then dance Regan. Um, because I do really want to test out this trap, but I don't know if we can get Regan out and test it in the same turn. Maybe not. My warmest greetings. Actually, I guess we can. We can do this. That makes sense. Oh, I'll do it. And heal. Yeah. Um, yeah. If we keep waiting much longer, I fear that we won't be able to take out everybody, so maybe we just go in this turn. Cause it'll be it'll be the melee units who are soaking the dance, right? It's gotta be because they've got no assist. Uh, so if we manage to get cool. far enough, leave it to me. Um, maybe we wait one more turn and set up a little bit better. Over here? We can snipe Claude this turn, I suppose, but I don't think we can snipe Claude and. Uh, Surter in the same turn. But maybe if we set up better for next turn, maybe that's an option that we can do. Let's think. We want Byleth here so that... Uh, sorry, not Surter. Cecilia. We want Byleth here so he can just go straight up to Bonk Cecilia, dance, repo out. Um, and then in the other direction, we're going to want Regan to be here. Um, so she can hit Claude, then she can't doze out. One, two, three... Uh, then she's still not far enough. Um, there is but one future. Can we get her far enough? We can repo back with Ashera, so Regan would be here. Uh, then dance. Dance with Reinhardt, maybe? Um, dance with Reinhardt. Chance Ashera with Reinhardt, then repo that out too? Yeah, maybe. Maybe that'll work. Oh wait, no, we gotta use one dance for Regan too, so I don't think that'll work. Unless... Unless we find that, uh... Yeah. Hmm. Leave it to me. Why not? Close your eyes. Like this, like this. I just want to make sure everybody's in a good position. Let's think about this. So next turn, Regan's here. She goes one over. She can get danced by Pumeria. Regan goes one, two, three. Or no. No, she'd have to be here. Then goes one, two, three. And she can't reach that far. But Reinhardt can. So what we could do... Yeah, no, I don't, I don't know if there's a way to snipe Claude. Never mind. Because uh, Regan has to start out here. So she has to go to here, get danced. Someone's already in the way then. Um, yeah, no, we can only snipe Cecilia or Regan or our Claude, but I think that should hopefully be okay. Wanna get them in prime sniping position for Claude next turn though. At least hopefully. Like, I don't know how far the range of this team extends. I really should have done more testing against my own team. But yeah, we can take out Cecilia and then run as far as we can. <laughs> Let's think, yeah. Because I can repo yes. her up. She's here. She goes one, two, three, attacks Claude. Canto's out. One, two, three. Um, Ashera's here. We can dance Ashera. Uh, Ashera can sort of repo out. Maybe? I don't even think she can. Let's try this first. We definitely want to do this, so let's do this. For a new tomorrow. Why was there damage reduction? 
I don't really know. Uh, anyway, oh, we'll do, do this. Leave it to me. We can snipe Surtur, but I don't really think that's optimal. I think the optimal I thing see. now is getting literally just as far away as we can. It will be done. Like here. Um, there yeah, there's no way to get Claude this turn. I won't lose. So let's see what happens next turn. Let's see if I went far enough. Because the melee units should be... Yeah, okay, we're fine then. Can Regan snipe? Oh, near save. But we can take out the Surtur, which we probably should. Ashera can do it. I don't know if we want Ashera to do it or if we want Violet to do it. This music. Does it matter there is but which one, one we future. use? Uh, maybe Byleth. Maybe Byleth. I don't know if that's right or not. You cannot stop the flow of time. Over here. That's good. We should probably do that. In fact. Or I suppose we could take out Reinhardt somehow else and then take out Katria. Do we have another way to take out Reinhardt? Yes. I am the answer. I love how Asher is telling me to use her to take out Reinhardt. Damn it, if I had used her, oh god, if I had used her, I could have danced her and then sniped Reinhardt like that. Gosh darn it. Um or maybe, maybe Regan can take out Katria even without Scyther Shell? No, but the problem is she'll be wasting her Kanto. Um, okay, what are our options? We can dance Byleth. Um, can dance Byleth, he can take out Saros. Um, or you can take out Eldigan. The Dancer sort of brings a lot of randomness into this. So maybe, maybe we dance Byleth, take out Eldigan, dance again, then Repo out, and then snipe Reinhardt. Yeah, I think that might work. So let's dance, take out Eldigan. Can we get out far enough? Um, Truly, do this. That doesn't super help. Um, take out Eldigan, dance with her, repo out, and then we've got one more dance on board. We've got one more dance on board, and that should be enough. Anyway, we definitely want to do this, so let's uh, let's start where we left off. I love how it took him both hits because of Portly Candle. But that's gonna hit hard, yeah. Um, I'll do it. Pretty sure Give we can me. repo out like this. Or let's Over let's here. take out Reinhardt first, because he scares me. I don't think so. And this is not Spidey Heart. This is a Reinhardt who will hit you hard even when he's on his own. <laughs> Yes, I know Spidey Heart is a bit of a meme, but I like it. I enjoy using Spidey Heart. Uh, no Kanto. Well, crap. <laughs> um. Do me the honor. What do we do then? <laughs> I forgot it was turn five. Oh gosh. Uh. Okay. Hear me out. We still have to repo back. That still has to happen. Uh, and can we get Regan out of there? With pleasure. I am the answer. Yes. I may have messed this up. Yeah, I don't think we can get out of this unscathed. Or, hmm, because we we can dance Byleth, then repo Regan out. But then. Byleth still has to take the hits from there is but somebody no who he can't take hits from. Because yes. I was thinking we could I repo up with Ashera, dance Regan. Oh, and then Regan can repo Byleth out of the way. Or no, I don't think she reaches. 
Who does he have the best chances of surviving? Is it Saros or Catria? I guess Saros at least has a weapon triangle disadvantage versus him, so there's that. I'm pretty sure she kills either way. Uh, so what can we do? Do we even have any other options? This music. Uh, we can dance you, repo out, or we can repo future. Reinhard up to here. Dance Ashera, and then Ashera can repo. No, that doesn't even work actually, because we would I repo Reinhard up to here. Um, he would dance Regan, but Regan doesn't even have a way to get him out of there. So, uh, I suppose. Really, our only our only hope here is that Violet can somehow survive. Uh, if Violet can somehow survive both Catra and Claude, I just don't see that being a possibility. Um, can't do this. Leave it to me. Yes. If she had Kanto, this would have worked. How did I not realize it was turn five? Anyway. Yeah, no, no, nothing else we can do. That's too bad. Yes. You can't do anything. One future. Yes. Okay. Well, uh, GG. Can't use her dual skill. Yeah, no. Pretty sure Claw's just gonna kill. Okay. Well, Claw's gonna kill now. That tells me that Claw couldn't kill before, but now he will. Oh. Trace! Oh my god, Trace! I think Trace literally saved my ass there. Um, well shoot. Can we salvage this now? Uh, we can take out Saros. Um, yes. she can even take out Saros. Uh, anyway, but we also have to take out Claude. Uh, and then can we get out of the way... Perhaps we could do this. Um. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, I'm freaking out right now. I wasn't expecting that to actually work. Uh, okay, so we can... He can take out Saros. Um, then Violet can move over. Violet can move over, get danced, take out Claude, get danced again. And then we just get out of Catria's way and try and collect those pots. Or can we leave Saros as the last unit? I don't really think we can. I don't really see how we could leave Saros as the last unit here. Uh, and, and Claude is in a perfect spot to be boxed in, but... Um, I don't know if we can... Because she's she only has one range. Oh, but she can Wings of Mercy in somewhere. Okay, okay, maybe we maybe we leave Claude as the last unit. Then again, Claude is a lot more threatening, so maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. Because um, what we could do is we could take out Catria, could take out Saros, repo out of the way so that we're not in range of Claude anymore. Um, and then hope that he goes two down and then we can trap him next turn. But even that, I feel like that might be a... No, let, let's just With keep pleasure. it simple. Let's keep it simple, take out Saros and Claude, and then worry about the pots. No damage reduction? Really? Is his res really that high? I guess so. I see. It will be done. Move you here, dance. Truly. Take out Claude. Here is something to believe in. Thank you. Uh, there is but one future. On the right foot. Probably like this. Leave it to me. Now it is unfortunate that we won't be able to break the tactics turn this turn, but truly, I see. I don't think there's a way to get to him. Me. Yeah, there's no way to get him up it there safely right now. Uh, but maybe if we break, yes. there is but let's one get future. you in that direction. Oh, we can do this. And then next turn, we're hopefully in a good position to go grab pots. Okay, she actually moved really well. 
Oh shoot, it's the last turn. Okay, we know Regan can do it, that's fine, that's great. Catrick, uh, Ashra can also do it and deal a funny amount of damage, so we'll probably take that. Uh, okay, I think we can grab both. Holy crap! I can't believe I pulled that off! I did not deserve to get away with that one. <laughs> anyway, let's take this funny number with Ashra. And... I somehow beat a team that is similar to mine, that's great. I'm happy. <laughs> nice. Alright. Someone in the comments tell me... So, so there, both, I think both Katria and Claude were able to reach to attack Violet, right? So I think the way it worked was, if Claude had attacked first, he would have died. So, because of, uh, because of Violet's uh, Sublime Heaven triggering to stop his 80% damage reduction. So then what happened was Katria decided to attack first because she could survive. Uh, and then she cantoed one back, and then Claude could no longer warp in. That's how I'm interpreting it. Anyway, very, very nice, great thing to see. Uh, now let's watch these two replays. Plus 10, Naga. Plus 10, Makaya. Very, very nice, Makaya. Not nice enough, though. Uh, plus 5, Plumeria. Plus 10, Altina. Plus 10, Fallen Native Guard. So this person's a little bit of a whale. Uh, yeah. So let's see what this person did. I don't remember their name. Let me see if I can pull it up. Remy. Let's see what Remy did. Okay, so they... I don't... I can't figure out if this was a misclick. Because I don't... Like, do you really want to be baiting with Makai there? Especially when the infantry school is still hitting her? I don't know if it was a misclick or what. But uh, it didn't work. Spoiler alert. So Claude straight up wrecked Makaya's whole career. Unfortunately, yes it is. Uh, and now he goes and unfortunately doesn't have the quad effect, so he can't quad Brave Edelgard. Uh, I don't know if he would have killed... I think he, he actually would have killed if he got another two hits in, so yeah, never mind, but he did not. So yeah. Uh, one unit dead so far this turn. Their Bolt Tower hit this turn as well, so they take out the Bridal Catria. Uh, then can't actually take out my near-safe Lucas, which is wild to me. That's crazy. This guy's doing his job. Uh, then they manage to take him out with Scyther Shell, though, because she targets his Ruz. Yeah. Uh, and, like, you're still not safe here. That's the problem. Even Reinhardt without Dire Thunder is still a big concern here. You can just one-shot Altina. Get danced. One shot or two shot Plumeria. Oh, we actually get to see a special prop. Okay, I'll leave that up. And him holding the spider is just so cute. I don't know, I just find it adorable. The gates have... Oh my god, he said it! Spidey Heart said it! I knew it. Claude can't take out Edelgard. So I think those were my three kills. But they must have surrendered here. Oh, no, they kept playing. Uh, but she can't take out Reinhardt. Uh... And she also can't take out Reinhardt. This is actually really, really sad to see. They have multiple units trying to hit him and could not take him out. Uh, so yeah, I'm so sorry about that, Remy. Let's see this one from Ice. Ryoma, plus one Ashura, Byleth, who I just used to dismantle one of these teams. Plumeria, plus one Fjorm, and a Guard Vector. I guess this is like a budget Vector. You know, I respect it. I'm here for Budget Vector. It's just unfortunately not quite as good. So, uh, I assume they are actually able to take out the Vector here. Or maybe not because of the Infantry School. I don't know. We're about to find out. I haven't watched this replay yet. So they're testing it out. Okay. Fair. Uh, okay, they can take out the Vector. Makes sense to me. You. Especially after a dance. Because uh, before, I think they might have struggled with that full Infantry School hitting. Like, they might have died to Vector. Yeah, they would have died to Vector in that one hit. Uh, but they did not. And then they can repo out. Uh, but I guess they couldn't get far enough. My guess is Lucas, or some someone breaks that, yeah. Um, Claude takes out Ashera. So that was my kill. Uh, and then they surrendered here. 
All right, thank you for the surrender, Ice. I do appreciate not having any lift loss. Anyway, so that's it for today's Ether Raids. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed that offense match because it was a lot of fun and I don't feel like I deserve to get away with that one, but I did. Um, and yeah, I'm super excited for my convention this weekend, the one I'm going to, so yeah. Uh, anyway, let me know how your day went in Ether Raids and I will see you guys next time with more Ether Raids. Bye!